Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve a numerical based upon the design of the butt weld or the groove weld. So let's start. The question statement says that the two plates of thickness 12 mm and 10 mm respectively, they are to be joined by a groove weld. The joint is subjected to a factored tensile force of 250 kN. That means the externally applied load has been given to us as 250 kN. We need to assume that the effective length which has been provided at the connection it is of 150 mm length. We need to check the safety of the joint for single V groove weld and then for the double V groove weld. Basically it is denoting that the single V groove weld is an incomplete penetration while the double V groove weld, it is an example of the complete penetration. The plates which are used for the connection, they are of FE410 grade of steel, while the welding has been done in the workshop. Therefore, the partial factor of safety corresponding to it, that is to be taken as equal to 1.25. Now, the diagram shows us that the single V groove weld is provided at the top portion only. That means it is not penetrating the full thickness of the thinner plate. While in case of the double V groove weld, this is penetrating the complete thickness. That's why that is an example of the complete penetration. Now one by one, we will check the safety for both the joints. So for the first joint, that is the single V groove weld. Now, first of all, we need to find out the effective throat thickness. So effective throat thickness in case of the butt weld, it is dependent upon the type of penetration whether it is complete penetration or the incomplete penetration. So let's say these are the two plates which are to be connected. One is of 12 millimeter and another one is of 10 millimeter. Now in case of incomplete penetration, the single V joint, we are providing the thickness up to this depth only. Now corresponding to this, the code has suggested that is our Indian standard 800 2007 edition. It has suggested to take this value as equal to the seven by eight times of the thickness of the thinner plate. Although for stress calculation, this value is further reduced so as to obtain a factor. So for stress calculation, this value has been further reduced up to a certain factor so as to obtain the safety in the calculation. So this value is usually taken in the calculation as 5 by 8 times of the thickness of the thinner member. Now the thickness of the thinner member will be the minimum of the two. So the minimum of the two plates which are having a thickness of 12 and 10 millimeter respectively so the minimum thickness is 10 millimeter so from here if we calculate this pe value that comes out to be 5 by 8 times of 10 millimeter which is equal to 6.25 millimeter the length of the weld which is also known as the effective length of the weld that has been given to us directly in the question that is 150 millimeter now based upon all these values of the welded connection that is the butt weld we will calculate the effective strength that is a we will calculate now the design strength for the groove weld or the butt weld of single v type so that is denoted by design strength of the weld with t because it is not having a shear factor and since it is not having a shear factor when we will take the stress value that will be taken as directly fy and not fy by root 3 because root 3 is coming out from the stress theory factor and that's why it has been avoided in this case now the area of the weld so the length up to which this welding has been done and the thickness of the weld which is provided divided by since we are taking the design values and not the nominal values that's why it is to be divided with the partial factor of safety which is in this case is equal to 1.25 now the grade of steel that has been given to us as fe410 that means the corresponding ultimate stress will be 410 newton per square millimeter and corresponding to it the yield stress is taken as equal to 215 newton per square millimeter now this fy will be 250 into the length of the weld has been directly given to us as 150 into the effective throat thickness that we have calculated that is 6.25 divided by the partial factor of safety is 1.25 so from here we will get the design strength of the weld and then we will compare this value with the externally applied load now this value that we will be obtaining that will be coming out in newton that's why we will multiply it with 10 raised to the power minus 3 so as to obtain the result directly in kilonewton 
So from here, the value that we are getting that is 187.5 kilonewton, which is lesser than the externally applied load, which is of 250 kilonewton. Therefore, the single V joint that we are providing with the help of the groove weld that is not safe in carrying out this much load. So that means what we need to do, we need to revise certain section properties. That means from this formula that is calculated for the design strength, we know that this Fy and gamma MW, these cannot be changed. Only these two values that is LW and TE, that is the effective length and the throat thickness, these are the two parameters which are in our hands, which can be increased. And if we increase the numerator, that means we will increase the design strength. So either we will increase the length of the weld or the thickness of the weld. And by providing the double V type joint, we are increasing the effective throat thickness and then we will see what is the impact of this on the total strength. So in the second part, now we are providing the double V groove weld. So in the case of the double V groove weld, since it is an example of the complete penetration, so in this case, the effective throat thickness that is directly taken as the thickness of the thinner member. And as we have calculated that this value is coming out to be equal to 10 millimeter. All the parameters are same. That's why we will directly calculate the design strength. So design strength here also denoted by TDW and that is given by the same relation that is Fy that is the stress into the effective area of the weld that is LW into TE divided by the gamma MW for carrying out the values in the design strength. Now, if we place all the values, that is 250 is the yield stress, 150 is the effective length, and the throat thickness is now increased up to 10 millimeter divided by 1.25. And this value is to be multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 3 so as to obtain the values directly in kilonewton. Now, from here, if we calculate these values, that comes out to be 300 kilonewton, which is greater than 250 kilonewton. That means the joint provided is safe in carrying out or transferring the load of 250 kilonewton and you can see the impact of the increase in the effective length or the increase in the effective throat thickness we have increased this value and that's why this tw has increased significantly and it is up to that much amount that it is exceeding the actually externally applied load that's why in the designing procedure, what we do, we provide the effective length in such a way that this externally applied load is not exceeding the design capacity. So this completes the problem based upon the groove weld. In the next video, we will take a problem based upon the design of slot weld. Thank you.